coming home The paths of Satan long I've trod Lord, I'm coming home Coming home, coming home Never more to of love Lord I'm coming home I've wasted many precious years now I'm coming home I now repent with bitter tears Lord I'm coming home Coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open wide thine arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home, Lord, I'm coming home. Good afternoon, dear friends, and welcome to this midday celebration of the Eucharist. During this Mass, let's pray for the following intention. Diocese of Nalgunda, Matampalli Parish. Mass offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donor, Boyapata Chinna Innaradi, on his 73rd birthday, for good health of all family members and good future of children. Thanking God for all the graces received and for the departed souls of Boyapati Maradi, Chinnamma Raya Bernardi by Raya Sundaramma Bhaskar Pranita Sampat Sandhya Pentaradi Nirmal Jyoti Prashant and family members. Today's Rosary and Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God and Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Together with these intentions, let's also place before the Lord our own personal intentions as we are already in the month which is dedicated to the souls in purgatory let us remember to pray for all the souls we know all our family members who have passed away from this world let us in a very special way remember to pray for all those souls that God mercy may be upon them and that they may benefit his beatific vision In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, as we already know that we are already in the month of November dedicated to pray for the souls in purgatory. The church offers us yet another month to deepen our relation, us, our relationships and our spiritual bondings with the people and the souls that are near to us. Last month we have spent the entire month praying the Holy Rosary for different reasons and various uh, needs of our church and of all our people who are living with us. And the church now leads us into yet another deeper relationship with all those who have passed away from this world. What relationship do we have with the people who have passed away from this world? One thing for certain we can all be sure is this. They are the ones who have gifted us the gift of faith. It is through them and from them that we received our Christian faith. So for this we need to be grateful for them for having given us Christian faith and for having led us to live our lives according to the gospel. And we need to continue to show our gratitude for them because gift of faith no one else can give. And God has chosen them to hand on this Christian faith to us. And for this we need to be ever grateful. So this entire month we need to spend in prayer 
alms giving, making sacrifices, so that those who are still in purgatory may receive God's mercy and enter his, into his glory. And for the many times that we have forgotten this aspect of our Christian faith, for having just lived our lives for this world, forgetting that we have a resurrection and a raising from the dead. These are the two elements of our faith that we continue to live and strengthen during this month. Therefore, let us ask God for pardon to forgive us for the many times that we have neglected this aspect of our faith. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, have a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servants, that just as they professed the mystery of our resurrection, so they may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verses 1 to 9. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was though to be an evil thing. And they are going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For thou in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. And like a sacrificial whole burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stumble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because Grace and mercy are upon his holy ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us walk in newness of life. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 6, verses 3 to 9. Brethren, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we if we have been united with him in a death like his, 
we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our whole self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead, we will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 37 to 40. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on that last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, every year the church leads us from month to month, deepening us in our spiritual union with our God and with all the saints who have gone before us, who have lived life on this earth and did the will of the Father and reached their eternal home taking from the month of January till the uh, month of December. Every month, the church provides us a special occasion, a period of time to grow more deeper in our faith and strengthening our faith to live life more faithfully according to God's will. And we all know we just finished the month of the Rosary wherein we have uh, improved in our rela relationship with our Blessed Mother and in her intercession. Dep and, and our dependence on her intercessory prayer. And now this month, the church leads us to, as we are almost to reaching the end of this liturgical year, the church leads us to reflect upon the last things of life, the death, resurrection from the dead, and eternal life. This entire month, we will be reflecting upon these three uh, aspects of our faith or the creed that we profess, the last uh, verse of the creeds. I believe in the resurrection from the dead and life eternal. These are the two aspects that we will be reflecting more often during this month. And Divivani TV also provides us with a, a great opportunity to pray for the souls every day evening, reading also from the life of saints who have prayed for the souls and who have really made this one not as a superficial thing but a reality, developing a relationship with those who have died 
and with those who are in purgatory suffering and our responsibility to reach them out in prayer, acts of charity, alms giving and little sacrifices that we could make for the repose of those souls that they may their sins may be forgiven and that they may receive God's mercy and enter into his glory. This is the entire purpose of uh, the, this month of November that we would be spending in prayer for the souls. And what do we gain by praying for the souls? Now remember, as we were already uh, made known, that our ancestors, maybe for some it is their parents, for some it could be their brothers and sisters, for some it could be their wife or their husband, for some it could be their parents, grandparents and also great-grandparents. They are the ones who received faith and lived their faith and with the hope of resurrection and eternal life, they ended their lives on this earth. And it so, of, it so happens that in our life we are not completely, totally into sin, nor are we completely living saintly life. Like the drunkards, we often sway this way and this, sometimes we are very good, sometimes we also fall into sin. Our life goes on swinging this way to that way. And in these moments of time, we really do not know the uh, status of our soul. So people who have died in this situation, we are not really sure that they have entered God's glory or they are still suffering because of their uh, reconcil of a lack of reconciliation for their sins. And for them, the church asks of each one of us to pray for them. And here we also are distinctly made clear that the church is of three-dimensional church. The first one, yesterday we have celebrated the Feast of All Saints. We are celebrating the glorious church that or that triumphant church. They have won their battle and they received their crown of eternal life. They are known as the church triumphant, the one, the victorious church. And the second one today and this entire month we will be uh, spending time for these people of this particular kind of church, church, the suffering. We think that we are suffering, but our suffering, when compared to the ones who are suffering in pur purgatory, is nothing. It cannot be compared at all. So their suffering is tremendous. And it's only your prayer, my prayer, and collectively as the prayer of the militant church. We are called the militant church because we could fight the battles for them. We could offer sacrifices for the church suffering, for the people who are in purgatory. And that's why we are called as the church militant. So we could fight the spiritual battle together with them and help them to get their eternal reward. And that is the call of the church for all of us for this entire month. And this is the relationship that we form as a family, as a community church, together we are composed of these three dimensions. And today it is you and I who are in this militant church. And tomorrow, if our lives are not lived in with certainty, we too might land up in the church suffering. That means we will be suffering in the church, uh, suffering in, the, in purgatory. And that time, the souls that we have helped to reach heaven it will in turn pray for us. And also, if we have been kind to our children, they too will pray for us. And that's how we are helped in both ways. Help from above and help from below. From the earth and from the heaven, the souls will be praying for us for our release from purgatory. This is the reality of this month uh, that we spend with uh, remembering the souls in purgatory. And this is also a reality that we need to remember. Many saints have related to the souls in purgatory. And once a particular priest has gone to the convent to help a sister as a spiritual director. And he lived his life and towards the end of his life he also dies and he happens to land up in purgatory. And he really didn't maintain any relationships with anybody except uh, for the little help that he has given to this particular sister. And to her, in her dream, he appears to her 
and tells the situation or the status of his soul and tells her to pray 30 days for the repose of this soul for that he may be released from purgatory and the amount of sacrifice, the pain and agony that this particular has to go through for the release of this soul is tremendous. As she was praying, energies were completely draining out of her and she was becoming and still she promised that she would help spiritually to this priest and she endures all the pain and suffering and after 30th day she gets again the vision where this particular priest is released from purgatory and he enters into eternal life. This is the spiritual relationship that every one of us needs to experience. Unless you have uh, friends whom you released from purgatory and made them enter into God's glory and to eternal life, you will not receive help when you reach purgatory. That's why a relationship with those who are on this earth, be it your children or whoever close to you and also the many souls that have gone to heaven, you need to help them so that they could be released from purgatory into heaven. When you help them, they in turn will lend you a hand to help you out. The scene of both people helping will become a reality in our own personal lives too. And this entire month of November uh, makes us remember that we are a people filled with hope. Hope of immortality. Hope that we too will share in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is our faith. And we also heard in the gospel reading, Jesus telling the will of the Father to all of us. The will of the Father is that he should not lose anyone whom the Father has entrusted to him. And we all know at our baptism, we are all entrusted to our Lord Jesus Christ and we all have become the members of the church. So Jesus will not lose any one of us who have joined the church through our baptism. So this is the hope that we have in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and also according to the will of the Father that we all be saved. Therefore, we need to recognize and remember the importance of this entire month that we may grow more deeper in our spiritual life and experience this relationship between these three churches, church the militant, church the triumphant and church the suffering. Unless we recognize this spiritual reality, we will not be able to spend this month more profitably to our spiritual growth. Therefore, we need to remember that we have a responsibility. We are very happy when our parents die. We take it as a responsibility to go and feed the poor people or the orphans, giving them uh, so-called we call maybe Annadhanam. We also know it in uh, our society. We arrange meals for pe poor people. But what are you really doing to the soul of this person you remember? Do you also give him a meal? What meal can you give him? The meal that our Lord has arranged for us. The Eucharistic meal. The mass that you offer becomes a spiritual uh, food for the soul and enables it to enter into, into God's glory. So offering masses for the souls is our response. Just the way we offer maybe anadanam for people who are poor in the name uh, that it may the uh, benefits of this uh, act of charity may benefit this soul. So it is not just physical acts that we need to do but also spiritual acts. Both combined only will make our relationship more meaningful. Once a uh, girl child who was very much related to her mother, who was living in a distant city studying. And it so happened that her mother passed away. And she comes back, attends the funeral, everything was over. She feels so much sense of loss because the only person who was supporting her was her mother and she is no more. So of, after all these funeral rites, rites were over, she gets back to her life and goes back to the college to study. And as usual, every evening she had a habit of calling her mother. And as a habit, she goes to the telephone booth 
and calls, starts dialing her, the number of her mother automatically. But again, she is lost because she recognizes that her mother is no more and uh, she starts crying, holding the uh, telephone set in her hand and was about to put and she listens to the voice of the telephone operator. The number you have called is temporarily out of network. In this message, this girl gets, uh, her attention goes to this single word called temporarily, it is not reachable. So it's only for a period of time. And it would be reconnected, was her hope. And that will happen in God's own time, the time determined by God. That means, even our own life, when we examine our own life, people who are dear to us passing away from this world, connection with them is only cut off for us only for a temporary period of time. And this connection, this relationship will be re-established God in his own determined time, predetermined time. And that is the hope that encourages us, that makes us long that we will reach them one day and will celebrate with God our Father in heaven. This is our faith and this is what we are called to live. So as we are celebrating, praying for this entire month, praying for the souls in purgatory, we need to keep uh, remember in we need to remember one thing in mind. Always live your life keeping the end in mind. This is sometimes we call it as uh, one of the principles of this highly effective people. Start with the end in mind. And similarly, this, this man has not written a new gospel, but he has taken this idea from the gospel to begin our life, to start our life, keeping the end in mind. Our end in mind, our, the end of our life is that we need to reach heaven. And what are we to do to reach heaven? That is what we need to remember. All the acts of charity, all prayer, alms, giving, sacrifice, everything that you do on this earth, you need to do keeping in mind that your soul has to reach heaven and you as a person are called to help many souls to reach their goal that is eternal kingdom of the Father. And let's pray in a very special way during this Mass that we all of us may be blessed with a special grace to spend this entire month deepening this relationship with all the people who have gone before us on their life journey to heaven. God, our loving Father, we pray for the church, for your servant, Pope Francis, and for all our bishops, the parish priests, the nuns, the catechists, and the many Christian families. We ask you, dear Lord, to strengthen them in their faith, hope, and charity, that they may lead the church and the faithful in the way that you have set for them, that they all may be led to live a life that would reach them to their true destiny that is your presence. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for Divyavani channel, for all those who are working in this channel, and for the many souls who are benefiting from the programs that are spiritual programs that are aired through this channel, that they may be blessed by your grace to grow more faithful and to live their life worthy of you. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, as we are keeping the month of November, remembering the souls that have gone before us, building our relationship with them spiritually, bless us, dear Lord, with your grace that we may grow in this relationship and may reach many souls and help many souls to reach your presence. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, we also pray for the many souls that are left, that are abandoned, never remembered. 
the souls that are orphaned and abandoned. We bring all of them before you, Lord. We ask you to forgive all their shortcomings and mistakes that they have done in their life. We ask for your special forgiveness upon all them and receive them into your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, we also pray for all the people who have helped the Vivani channel and are no more on this earth. We ask you, dear Lord, to forgive all their sins and reach them, receive them into your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the world, especially all the people who have lost life during this war, thousands of them, the civilians and the soldiers. We ask you, dear Lord, to forgive all those who are the cause of this war, and also to forgive the sins and the shortcomings of all the people who have died and receive them into your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions. Lord, you who know the secret desires of our hearts, if they are according to your holy will, we ask you, dear Lord, to grant them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, 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 holy lord, lord god of hosts heaven and earth the full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion jesus took the bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death, death o lord, lord and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Paul Anthony our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. At this moment let's recall to mind all those who have in our families have gone before us to their eternal reward. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God, who takes take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to release 10,000 souls. Eternal Father, Eternal Father, I offer thee, I offer thee, the most precious blood of thy divine Son, the, the most, most precious, precious blood, blood of thy divine Son, Son Jesus, 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 in union with the masses set throughout the world today, in union, in union with, with the masses set throughout, throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for all the holy souls, souls in purgatory, purgatory, for sinners everywhere. For sinners everywhere. For sinners in the universal church. For, for sinners, sinners in the universal church. Those in my own home. Those in my own home. And within my family. And within my family. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go and live this celebration.
Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.